Okay, so I'm going to go over some like stuff about the package sets, right? So a package set is literally a package set. So if you look at the actual contents of the package sets, you'll see this in this packages.json. There's like the package name, the dependencies it has, the repository where it is, and like the tag that it's using in the version. And so when you have this date time, you'll probably have like multiple entries for this date time, right? So you have the entry for the actual package itself over here, and then you'll find like other usages where it's the dependency for something. So I guess in uh, our terminology, we call this like the dip, we call this the package, and then we call everything that has it as a dependency as the reverse dependencies. So um, a lot of times when you're working on something, you'll probably find that your package or whatever package you were using in Bower or whatever isn't in the uh, current package set, right? Like the current package set for 0.11.6 that actually came out is like fairly old, like July 10th. So it doesn't have like a 4.0 or a bunch of stuff. So if you actually want to add stuff, you want to like fork this, right? And then uh, make sure like you clone it out and whatever, like in my case, I already have it cloned out. Uh, how do I use windows? Okay. So I'll go into my package sets and it's like in here and I have my own branch where I have a bunch of stuff, but so I've been like pushing a lot of random stuff to it. Well, let's say we wanted to add something here. Uh, we'll go to the packages.json and let's see, uh, let's try adding like console or something, right? It's a library I made for like generating some Elm types. So uh, get my post for you up here. Not that I need anything from there. Uh, let's go to K. So this is the kind of manual process that we have right now. And we might like improve the tooling in the future so that you can do it from the command line or something, but it's kind of like a power user thing, I guess. Like you don't actually have to do this if you don't use any obscure packages. So like Halogen, simple JSON, a whole bunch of other stuff is already there. So it doesn't really matter. But in this case, you kind of have to like look for stuff manually. So let's say like type level preludes in, involved because yeah, this uses some row level, row type stuff. Uh, need new type because I'm doing some new type derivation. Need strings because of some string operations. And I need foreign because I read and write foreign things. And the latest version of this is probably 1.0 uh, or 0 0.1.0, okay. And then uh, this part, we'll just add that it's me and it's called pure script control. Okay, so once you've like added this thing, um, you go to your console, right? And then uh, you need to run some commands to set up the testing harness, right? So it's in the Travis uh, SH. So you'll see that it like echoes out to a package, so package dash, uh, or PSC package JSON file and like it has this content and whatever and it copies this thing to your testing set, right? So I'm just gonna repeat that part where I copy the package set pa packages.json file and I'm gonna run this uh, package uh, verify, right? So this is a command that we added fairly recently where you can verify a single package. So say if I put in control here It'll use that definition we just passed in and then check with the dependencies, like whatever all there is. And, you know, this, there's like nothing depending on this. So this verifies pretty easily. But like say if you're like verifying like AF or something, then you'll see that there's like 30 packages that are, or 29 packages that are reverse dependencies of AF. So it'll like go through and verify all of those. But for the most part, if you've actually like checked out a valid package set and you haven't changed a whole lot of things, then like just validating the thing that you've added will work. And you want to like run this through like CI or whatever anyways. Like say like, yeah, sure. Just added this. So just add a 
This is just says like blah 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 blah, blah. and then uh, I can tag this out, right? It's because I want to be able to like consume it from a package that uses it. So we'll just do like git tag like um, uh, I don't know what's a good tag name, something like kimchi. Yeah, and now push that up. And then now it's available as a package that's upstream. So uh, like if I'm gonna pull up like an example that uses this, I guess like this halogen elm etch sketch thing, like I could check that out. And then in here, oh my God, I hate using windows. Um, whoa, bunch of stuff in here. Okay, so clean all this up, up and okay, so I'm on like master now. Um, I'll do like PS, uh, PSC package in it, yeah. And I'll try to pull some stuff, but like it's kind of obviously not going to work because this isn't going to have a whole bunch of uh, packages that I actually use, or it's not going to have at least that control package I use. So let's pull up PSC package and like start adding stuff. Uh, probably the easiest way to do this is to take the bio file, copy this, open a new buffer, um, turn on vim mode, and then just like apply on all lines, normal mode. Um, I don't know. First off, we need to like delete 12 characters or something. And then we need to apply, uh, find a quote, and then delete the, the line and insert comma. Uh, oops, not insert comma. No. Mm. Okay. Um, and what am I missing? Uh, still missing the callus. Oops. So let's uh, insert on all these and then just replace that comma with, yeah, okay, uh, oops, yeah. <laughs> How do I even edit files? So this is what pair programming with me would look like where it's just a bunch of wasted time. So let's go over here, paste that in. We don't need this. And what else do we not need? We don't need that last comma. And this should be intended just to look prettier. Oh my God. Yes, code. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So let's go over here and remove the bower stuff. Guess I don't have anything of that. Okay. It's from PSC package update. Oh, oops. Right. We need this, right? So we need to replace this set name with kimchi and then replace the source with us. And then it'll actually pull out the packages. Yeah. And then because I don't have the Bower JSON in here anymore, it pop will automatically work with this correctly. So let's see that in action, hopefully, maybe. Oh. And it takes forever to build just cause, yeah, it's, I don't know, my Windows desktop is beefier than my laptops, but it's definitely way slower than like OSX or Linux for whatever reason. I think it's probably something to do with like file system performance or something, I don't know. And then there's like some stuff that's like erroring out because like uh, it updated some stuff, but yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, this is about the gist of how you use a PSA package and like add a package and get it working.